everyone uh, welcome back so today we'll be talking about uh, role based access controls so let's go ahead and create a resource group so you can click the resource group here you can search from search bar or you can go to the all services and uh, click the resource group so in this case i'm giving as my resource group create so the resource group has been uh, created let's go to the resource group you can see the options here and uh, you can go to the access control I am and you can see here like uh, you can see your roles and you can grant the access to the other users that you want so, and you can see the role assignments has have not did anything it's empty coming to the roles you have all uh, built-in roles you can also create a custom role you can see option here you can create a custom role as well so if you want to know more about uh, these things you uh, like please check the previous videos uh, in which i have explained about the custom roles as well and you can see the lock section here Let's go ahead and uh, create some blocks. Click add and in this case, let us say it as RG lock. And you have two different options, uh, read only and delete. So basically the read only, uh, if you keep the read only, uh, the users cannot do the modifications on it, uh, even the admin. So if you click the delete, uh, no one can delete uh, this particular resource group. Let's click OK. If you want you can add the description as well so we have created the lock let's go ahead and uh, uh, delete this group uh, let's paste the name of it you can see uh, this resource group cannot be deleted uh, because there, uh, there are locks on this so let's try to add some members to this group and uh, let's see whether we can delete those members or not. So in this case, let us go ahead and uh, create a, a storage accounts. So you can uh, go to the all services or you can just search from the search bar. So you can go to the storage part and you can see the storage accounts. Click the storage accounts and uh, click create. So in this case, you can see there is a default resource group. Change it to the resource group that you have created recently. And uh, let me take the default one. I think it's already created. So let us stay. So it's done. Uh, let us keep it as standard and uh, redundancy. Let's take it as the lowest one, LRS. So if you want to know more about uh, uh, what these options are uh, please do check the previous videos so this should be fine let's go and review and create so I have created it so mostly there should be no policies that uh, restrict this so it should be created as it is doing now let's go ahead and refresh so once uh, it is created let's uh, try to delete uh, this group so the resource group has been uh, sorry the storage group has been created and uh, let's try to delete it you can see we have got an error message uh, that this resource or the parent group uh, is in a delete lock so if these two cases are satisfied then uh, we cannot delete the, uh, the groups so for this we have to remove that uh, uh, lock in the resource group so which uh, we'll be doing now resource groups so let's go to the locks and try to delete this so now we have deleted the lock and uh, now try to delete this resource group so 
so you can see uh, there is a storage account associated with this resource group even that will be deleted let's click ok so now you can see uh, there is no error uh, right now since we have uh, there is no logs associated with this resource group so this is how uh, we create the resource groups and uh, add logs to it so hope you guys understood the concept of resource groups and adding the logs and even the access control so if you like the video please click the like button below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you guys